two of the biggest stars of jiu-jitsu today, and they are going head-to-head -head here at the 2016 IBJJF Pan Jiu-Jitsu Championships. Here we go. Here we go. And this is Leandro Lowe 101. Homolo, he's looked so good this weekend. Absolutely. So calm, so composed. Number of solid wins already today. Leandro Lowe had a hell of a weekend. Also competed in the open division yesterday. He's going to be fighting in the finals against Bernardo Faria later today. And there with the guard paw is Leandro Lowe. Wasting no time. Breaking the grip off here. Now, when it comes to the passing the guard, something interesting to note is when I asked Leandro, where does your guard passing come from? Who are your influences? He mentioned, I always used to watch Homolo Bahal. <laughs> we said this earlier about Homolo. He's a 10-year veteran. This is his 10th year at the Pan American Jiu-Jitsu Championships. And he has been an influence for so many grapplers. So many black belts today cite him as as an inspiration. And Leandro Lowe, his opponent right here, right now, is one of those grapplers. Yeah. And I think Homolo will just is going to press to the knee cut. That's what he wants to do right now. Lowe wants to get a grip and I think wants to circle that left leg all the way underneath. It's sort of his classic sweeping position to Something that, that he's really known for. Yep, get that left leg in the middle underneath and then tip you over. So Gracie Baja versus the New School Brotherhood, the team formed by Leandro Lowe. Homolo Baja won. Oh, Homolo up. Leandro up there with a takedown from the seated guard, but into an omoplata <laughs> from Bahal. Oh, <sighs> manages to get out. That's going to be two points for Leandro Lowe. Wow, and he's just so quick. You give him the tiniest bit of space, and you saw the way that the moment Homolo backed up, he exploded, sprang up into action. That double leg takedown. Yeah. But Homolo. That was a close on my platter attempt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lowe's, I think Lowe can reach to Nevada from here with his arm length. <laughs> you know, so he was able to lock his hands around the legs. That's very difficult to, to escape here. Now, Homolo right at home in this guard, though. Foot wow. on the bicep, collar. This is Homolo's guard 101. He loves the spider guard. He's so good at it. and. Let's see one of the best guard players in the business up against one of the best guard passers. Leandro yes. Lowe and his knee cut, almost unstoppable once he gets it going. And Homolo, his spider guard, so effective. It is. I think Homolo is going to have to keep him tied up as much as possible here. But Homolo playing a very open game. Oh! No. Just Almost. diving through that guard. You really can't give him the tiniest bit of space. No, you cannot. He's so fast at throwing the legs by. There's the, there's the, there's the lapel grip. This is where... I think Homolo's guard is best. And this, I believe, is what Homolo needs to, sh to slow Leandro down. If he doesn't have those grips, I, I think if it's a, a pure speed, if it's a race of pure speed, I think Leandro is going to win. So Homolo, very important. He needs those grips. He needs to maintain good control over Leandro. Yeah, I think this gripping sequence is a little different. He's able to control the posture. The space with the bicep, but the posture with the collar, so. Again, Lowe's gonna try to throw by towards his left. You can see that. 
Oh, a penalty called against both men there. Now, interesting to note that this referee is Rodrigo Tachi. This is the same referee that disqualified Beatrice Mosquito and Tami match yesterday in the open weight division. Uh, very aggressive penalty. Uh, he, uh, he, is a, he is aggressively calls penalties against what he perceives to be stalling. If the fighters aren't active, if they spend too long in the same position without advancing position, he will penalize them. But right now, on the board, 2-0 in favor of Leandro Lowe for that reversal earlier. Takedown has sprung up from the guard position. Plus an advantage. 0-0 zero, zero for Homolo Bajal. Low does jump by the that's that opposite side. He's he yep. That's the side he'll throw himself by you on see his him right. Testing the waters. Yeah. But Homolo is gonna have to maintain those grips if he wants to stay safe. And there is shooting up for a triangle attempt. Yep. Leandro hides the arm inside. Halfway mark now, five minutes down in this 10-minute contest. That's where that collar grip will help him hold the head down. You can hear the voice of Murillo Santana, fellow middle heavyweight who actually went out to Homolo Bajal earlier in the, in the day. He's actually coaching Leandro Lowe, close friends, even though technically they represent different teams. Maru Santana representing Barboza, both from the Sao Paulo region and have trained together so much. Leandro spent an extended period of time training at Unity Jiu Jitsu in New York, which is Murillo's school there. <laughs> Another stalling call. So that. The second penalty against <laughs> both competitors. Low and Homolo both laughing about it in, in there. Yeah. Going to pick two competitors in modern jujitsu, known for stalling. I think these two would probably be at the absolute bottom of that list. Yeah. However, Let's see if Low. We want to see some action. So the referee urging them on to compete. Oh, there's a throw by attempt from Low and. Oh, oh, underneath now, Homo, Homo Lowe is underneath, but Lowe is very good here with his balance, very long. Control of the leg, something of a single leg X here. A leg on the shoulder for Homo Lowe. If he can get under the hips, this is where Lowe is sweepable. If he can get under the hips of Leandro, he's difficult to, to knock off balance trying to attack his upper body. His base and his balance so good, his ability to spin out. But as with the likes of Faria, you can get underneath him and get his hips and you can lift him up. He's not so difficult to tip over and to get on his back. So yeah, let's see if Homolo can consolidate this position that he's attacking for here. Yeah, we've got a right-handed grip on the pants. So Homolo has good leg position, but I think if he's... He's not too cautious. He's, he's afraid that I think Lowe's going to just jump out of this thing or circle that leg over. Otherwise, I think he'd let go and try to get that far sleeve. Yeah, Lowe doing a good job of defending that leg on the hip, but it's kind of in his bicep and on the hip, switching between the two. Homolo extending it currently, but Leandro just slowly backing out of that position, doing his best to get that hip away. There's that right-handed grip. I Homolo don't know. does have a grip, yep. Yeah. He has a grip of the far leg. If he throws his legs back, he may be able to come up hard. Basically like a double leg, similar to a double. He can extend away, then bring his legs back and come up. Let's see if it happens. Andrew's base is just so good. You can lift him up and twist him in any direction. He's like a cat. He always seems to land the right way. Homolo taking a little look at the clock. He's yep. listening to the advice of his student, Gabriel Arsh, who's actually cornering him right now. Just coming up to a minute and a half remaining in this contest. Remember, it is two points on the board for Leandro Lowe. 
and two advantages, just one advantage for Homrul Baha. He needs to score a sweep. However, that will not be enough. Now Low ahead on advantages. Yeah, I think Homolo, if he can elevate Lowe's feet back off the floor and then let his legs go and come out with those legs, there may be a possibility he comes to the top here. But Lowe is so long. There, off balance. Homolo still with that pant grip with his right hand. Again, now here, here's trying what, to elevate Lowe. Yep. Got to do more than just sweep. That's one thing, though, that has got to happen. He's got to not only sweep, but he's got to somehow get an advantage in the process. Very difficult prospect. Now coming up to 30 seconds remaining in this match. Homolo again trying to lift. Leandro doing such a great job of just that little hip switch there. Trying to, oh my, just his balance here. Homolo, every time he tries to lift him up, Leandro just goes with him. Dying seconds, there it is, end of the match. Leandro low takes it against Homolo Bahal, 2-0. Yeah. Just couldn't mess with Leandro's length, it seems. He was so long, his arm was based all the way away. His feet were off the ground. Homolo, not for lack of trying. He was doing everything he could. I think any other grappler probably would have been swept. He was elevating him as best he could, trying to get the sweep. However, Leandro low, his base, his balance, his flexibility. All the qualities he's best known for came into play and took him to this. The 2016 Pan Jiu-Jitsu gold medal in the middle heavyweight division.